Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. General reminder for those who don't know, MIC is having a one year anniversary where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. And as an added benefit to our members, the event is 100% entirely free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime on top of that get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free, again, for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up or attending this specific event, DM me in Slack, tbradley90, and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now today, we have a very special video for you guys. Every Sunday, Matt, Chicago trader, one of our main moderators in chat, does a how-to series on fundamentals. And this week specifically, Matt is talking about Workhorse, which is WHKS and their agenda. While this is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Chicago checking in here for the weekly fundamental video. Um, after last week, I had promised that I was going to do Workhorse this week. I know it's kind of been out of place since uh, Trump's tweet about it with GM. But I definitely wanted to go over it, um, kind of my thoughts on the whole um, agenda behind it and kind of why the move happened. Um, so I guess we can kind of just jump into it. So if you guys don't recall, uh, you know, Trump tweeted that uh, GM was going to sell their um, Ohio plant to Workhorse, which is an electric truck maker or electric car maker. Um, and basically what I did was, you know, the move held up pretty well. Um so that night I kind of do, did some digging and read a few articles and definitely, yeah, so then someone from the UAW comes out and basically says that in a statement, the union's position was unequivocal. Um, GM should assign a product to the Lordstown facility, which is the Ohio town that it's in, and continue operating it. Um, here was the, also the funny part and where I started to realize that it's going to be, you know, this deal is likely not going to get done. Um, you know, the UAW actually is suing GM for closing down that plant. So, um, you know, saying that it breached its uh, fiduciary agreement, you know, the contract with the workers. GM basically said, hey, you know, we had 4,500 people here. The trucks that we were producing or, the, you know, whatever vehicles they were producing there. Um, we're not, in, you know, high demand, probably lower margins. I'm just going to go out on a limb. The company has about 65 million um outstanding shares the float before the move was 56 million uh, now there's a ton of warrants so the float if, if the warrants were all exercised um it'd be closer to 80 million. so again on um may 1st there's about three and a half million dollars in cash uh you know if all these warrants get exercised they have a lot of warrants they can raise you know 30 35 million dollars um they're burning a couple million dollars a month so i mean obviously you look at the cash situation uh, they're sitting on fumes before this move and, you know, the revenue. So they have a lot of, uh, I think the stock was at 90 cents uh, before it moved. And a lot of overhead at 182, um, $3, I think it was $3.03 to be exact. So it's a lot of dilution. Like, I mean, you think about 23 million shares, is, but, you know, when the flow is 50 million, there's 60 million outstanding shares, like, that's 30% dilution, like it's a lot, but at the same time, percentage-wise, it's not. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.